to celebrate an awesome year that you guys had as 7th and 8th graders. Um, and we're here to recognize the outstanding students um, from this year. We are really proud of the year that you guys have had. And all of our teachers are here to recognize specifically to their class uh, the great things that you guys have done and the individuals that have done that. Um, so as we go through this award ceremony, let's make sure we remember our essentials, okay? Uh, let's be engaged, let's make sure we are listening, okay? And um, let's make sure that we are happy and cheering for our classmates as they are announced, okay? So the first teacher that we have today is Mrs. Geiger.
I've got a bunch of awards to give out of here. I've got two most improved, and these two kids, you all can look at yourselves, these two students uh, have overcome quite a few uh, difficulties with different things this year, and I think both of them are very deserving. And the first one said she wasn't going to come up here, and she got called, but she is going to come up here. Jamie Parker! I took an account of the person that kind of grew the most over 
the semester. This person is typically very quiet in my math class, but really caught my attention in forensics because I feel this is a topic that they truly enjoy. This person would talk to me about forensics outside of class and ask me if I heard about certain cases, and it was truly inspiring to see this person um, kind of come out of their shell during forensic science. So for that reason, um, I chose Jamie Farber. Now, not many of you students have had this teacher before, but she is an amazing math teacher, and I am so excited for you eighth grade students to move on next year to have this awesome math teacher. She's one of my teacher besties, so Mrs. Zekrich. Um, like Ms. Bossman just said, I actually only have five of you, um, and you five are a pleasure to be around. You guys challenge yourselves, um, in the class, inside and out. You also had a challenging month, I feel like, because of all of your field trips for junior high and then also trying to keep up in a high level class. So keep that in mind that you all are amazing that I have. Um, this was really hard. I wish I could have given everybody an award. Um, but I did pick the top student. Um, always asking extra questions, which always gets me with, um, oh, could I have done it this way? Is this correct? Uh, and make, verifying that and then also helping the classmates. So for that, I actually am giving what I call the Twix Award and this student has always a great few Twix up his sleeve. So Braylon Sanders. Okay, you don't want to hear me sing, but you want to hear her sing. It is Miss Nancy Swift. Well, as many of you know, I had the pleasure of being the choir teacher this year. I have two different awards for the seventh and eighth grade students. Uh, one is most improved seventh and eighth grade uh, choir student, and the other is the outstanding seventh and eighth grade. Um, <clears throat> the very first one that I want to give is most improved seventh eighth grade uh, choir student for the class, and um, he was one who always was working very hard in order to learn music and match tones and uh, different things. I'm very proud of how far he's come, Caleb Ross.
video productions we did, the weekly student life update, as well as the weekly newscast. Uh, student life update, uh, the Stull Talks that are hung in the bathroom, the outstanding pages editor goes to Miss Sophie Van Scooter.
teachers give you awards, and it was really neat to hear them describe you guys. A lot of them that I heard them say was how much you care, um, how hard you worked, and it's really important for us to recognize those kiddos that put in that work and that really care and that really went above and beyond with, with what you guys did, okay? And that, that was really, really awesome to see. Um, before I get to my award, let's give our teachers a big round of applause for all the I, uh, I hope you guys know how lucky we are to have such awesome teachers here that want what's best for you, and um, they work so hard to make sure that our school's awesome, so I want to thank them too. Um, so now we're going to go to our All A's Award. Um, some of you will be getting an award in Hope Base for getting All A's and B's. We wanted to recognize the All A's Award. These students really stood out this year, and like these teachers talked about, put in a ton of work, really cared, went above and beyond everything uh, that they needed to do, and earned All A's, which is not easy to do throughout the year. Seventh grade. Our first winner is Curtis Wonderly. Our second winner is Brian McAlexander. Our next winner is Casey Hedge. And lastly, we have Jacoby Campbell. For our eighth graders, first we have Charlie L.A. Next, we have McKenna Baird. Next, we have Liberty Doctor. Alex Franklin. Morelli Garcia. Madeline Hedge. Braylon Sanders. Anna Saunders. Zane Trezinka. Alex Walters, and lastly we have Brooklyn Zeta. Again, great job to all of our award winners today. Uh, again, we are so proud of you. We appreciate the great year that we've had. Um, eighth graders, we wish you guys the best of luck in high school. We know you guys will go on to do great things. And seventh graders, now you guys are kind of the leaders of, leaders of our middle school next year. Um, we're going to expect a lot out of you and to be an example for the rest of our middle school. Good. All right. Thank you guys um, again for a great year. And we will now go back to second period. Today we are here to celebrate the year that we've had uh, and to especially celebrate individually the students who stood out, worked really hard, did their best, and we're going to take 
today to recognize those students. Um, I will ask that during this award ceremony, we remember our Hicksville Essentials, right? Okay, sitting up straight, eye contact, engaging, listening, not talking to your friend, okay, clapping um, when appropriate. All right, let's, let's do all those things and be really respectful of our teachers and our award winners, okay? All right, um, I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of the year that we've had. I'm thankful to our teachers, um, and I'm excited for today uh, to recognize all the, all the students who really, who really had a great year this year. So to lead us off, we have Mr. G. This is always my way of kind of capping off a long run with the sixth grade students. Um, you know, while our classes are blended now with fifth and sixth grade students, um, these awards are just for my sixth graders because this is my last year with them if they chose to take art. Um, and I just appreciate not only this year, but over the years, everything that you guys have put into my classroom, all the effort, the creativity. This year was very special um, with um, our second semester students getting to help create a mural that will, um, you know, be a lasting example of, you know, our creativity in my classroom, um, but everything else that we've just done. Um, before I get to my, my top artist awards, I do want to recognize a few um, fifth and sixth graders who uh, were recognized by the Crescent News Design and Ad this school year. Um, so these students can just stand in their place and we can give those students a round of applause. So um, earning, uh, let me make sure I have everything right here. Uh, earning eighth place for fifth grade, top ten, fifth uh, is eighth, eighth place, and that student earned fifteen dollars, and that student is Braylon Johnson. Also in fifth grade, in the top ten, uh, earning the fourth place spot, which was thirty-five dollar award, um, that goes to Lizzie Ducaven. And in the sixth grade top ten this year, we had ninth place, which was $15, to McKenna Bergman. Fifth place, which was $30, to Maya Haggerty. And second place, earning $70, was Addison Dutter. Alright, so to find out my top awards, um, this is this was probably the hardest year I've had to choose um, for students because I was looking through my list of my students I had in first and second semester and there was just so many exceptional students, not just this year but over the years. I mean, I can I can point out so many different attributes and talents from so many different students, um, you know, that stood out to me. And it's not just their, their art, it's not just their creativity and their imagination of that I choose these students, it's also their behavior, their positivity, the, um, you know, what they bring to my classroom to make it a better place for not just themselves, but for everybody that comes into my classroom. Um, so I did have to narrow it down and I chose two students for my first semester and two students for my second semester, and that's how I did it. So um, this first student for my first semester was a student that has just really grown um, in just an exceptional way. This student has always been talented in art, uh, but they, really, when they got into my middle school art class, I really started to see them flourish and really go beyond my expectations. That's something I talk about in my classroom. And this student, with every project they created, both in fifth grade and sixth grade, they always just blew me away and impressed me. I gave them their project and they would take it in a totally new direction and interpret it in a new way. And their project was always unique um, compared to everybody else's. They always found a way to put originality and style in everything they created. Um, and their kindness, their helpfulness, their respect is just something that I've always appreciated. The student is always someone I could count on and it showed even at the very end of the semester, they gave me a beautiful painting that said, the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. And this student needs to also realize that 
the influence of a great student can never be erased either. This student is absolutely, absolutely exceptional, and I'm proud to give this award to Kaylin Kreitz. Um, the next award uh, are going to be given by 
the awesome Mr. Rosebrock.
seeing each of you progress in some way this year, whether that has been behavior, or if it has been as a scientist, or you know something else that I've noticed this year. I've just been really impressed by each and every one of you. Um, but I have picked a super scientist for fifth grade as well as for sixth grade, so I'll announce my fifth grade winner first. Um, this student is someone who likes to go above and beyond in projects. They have a very scientific mind, um, and they are always asking questions. Um, I love that they are always thinking about, you know, oh, what would happen if we did this? What about this? Um, that's something that's just a really good quality to have as a scientist and as a person in life. Um, this student is also someone who has helped keep me organized, which I really appreciate. As you all know, I'm a bit of an A-type personality. Um, and this person has really helped me keep organized, especially with the binders. That would be Mr. Corey Laker.
Okay, Mrs. Taylor is up next. Well, I have one award for today for the top sixth grade math student. This is always difficult because this year especially, I have quite a few students who were a top sixth grade math student. Um, but this year, it goes to Cohen Johnson. He didn't just give answers, he helped other students get to the answer. So nice job, Colin. Fifth 
grade brass class this semester learning um, trombones, baritones, tubas, trumpets, and French horns. And in that class, my outstanding performance award goes to Canyon Inc. Yeah. 
All right, we actually have just one student in fifth and sixth grade that had perfect attendance this year. So I challenge some more of you to step up next year and make sure you have perfect attendance. attendance. That one student who had perfect attendance this year, congratulations to Johnny L.A. So you guys had two different principals this year, right? Had to get used to Mr. Highlander and then to Mr. Tear. So it's my privilege to uh, introduce your favorite principal, right? Yeah. Mr. Tear. I said it to the seventh and eighth graders, I'll say it again, that was no contest, so thank you. <laughs> All right, hey, um, we got a little bit longer here, so stay with us. Um, it was really neat to hear what all the teachers had to say to you guys, right? I heard a lot of common statements there. Work ethic, care, all right? Energy and excitement for class. And I challenge all of you guys to have a great summer, right? But get refreshed so that next year when you come back, we can keep pushing to have more and more students, okay? Having a great work ethic, right? Caring, being excited, and doing great things in the classroom. Before I get to our last awards, let's give our teachers a big round of applause. We are lucky, we are lucky to have a lot of great teachers here at the school and we uh, certainly shouldn't take that for granted, so thank you, teachers. The last awards we're going to give out is, are the All-A Awards. Um, some of you will be getting A's and B's, and B's Awards, which is great in your home bases, but we wanted to recognize the students who got all A's for the entire year. Uh, this is very challenging to do, a very hard award to earn, but these students did all those things we just talked about. They worked extremely hard, they cared a great deal, uh, and they showed up every day ready to learn and ready to do what was required for each teacher in that class. So we're gonna start with the fifth grade, all A's, Canyon Anthony. Trinity Campbell. Xavier Immunizer. Kaysen Fisher. Dawson Keeley. Ellie Laker. Johnny L.A. And Kayla Wonderly. Great job, fifth grade students earning all A's. Our sixth grade all A earners are Braylon Adams, McKenna Bergman, Brody Gonzalez. Cohen Johnson, Sebastian Neal, Broderick Scott Campbell, Beta Van Horn, Addison Better. Edison Wayne. And Maddox Yoder. Okay, congratulations to all you guys. Again, uh, I want to just say congratulations on a great year. Uh, I hope that you guys all have a great summer, like I said and get some rest, uh, have some fun, and then let's have a great year next school year.